Hey, Jess the Milford Photo Guy here to talk about depth of field. And I brought in my ready assistant, Andrew. Say hey. Hello. There he is. Uh, my ready expert and expert assistant. Um, World Wrestling Entertainment. That's right. World Wrestling Entertainment. And we've uh, brought along some of his guys here to sort of uh, show you how depth of field works and how you can control depth of field. And uh, the stage is going to go back down here, though. Yeah. That stage has got to stay there. Yeah. So um, we're going to use a couple of Andrew's guys here. Uh, let's get some colorful guy. Who's that guy? Sin Cara. Sin Cara. All right. So we're going to set up. Now listen, I got to I got to do this my way. So we're going to send Sin Cara up here, right? And mm -hmm. um, we're going to set uh, Justin Gabriel. Justin Gabriel. Who's this guy? Cody Rhodes and Cody Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio. And a steel chair. Welcome steel chair. And Hi. steel chair. And so we have here, who's this guy again? Uh, Justin Gabriel. Justin Gabriel. Okay. So we have Sin Cara and Justin Gabriel, right? Here on the stage. You're going to set them up. Now, depth of field is an optical phenomenon that takes place and the effect changes as your aperture opening changes. And aperture opening Aperture openings are registered by the f-stop numbers on your camera. So if you take your camera, if you if you dial it over to to A or AV, if you're a camera uh, Canon owner, and you turn your command dial to change your aperture openings, you'll see those numbers change. F-stop number openings change. They mean the same thing. F-stop and aperture. I'll try to be consistent and call them apertures. They might go from 3.5 to 22. Right? So we're going to take the first picture right here. Similar setup, and we're going to take it here at uh, f4. Everybody has an f4 setting, and we can see that if we focus on Sintara. Sincara. Sincara. From Mexico City. Ah, is that a is that a town in Mexico? Uh, Mexico. No, it's just a city from Mexico. It's we learned about it in social studies. It's a place in the center of Mexico with. It's a city, but there's large mountains around it, mm, mm. so it's surrounded by um, mountains, mm, and it's mm. probably, on the map, if you zoomed in from Mexico, it's probably this big. Excellent. So, so back to depth of field. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Geography. There you are. So uh, F4, we have Sin Cara in focus. Right? He's, he's sharp, Justin but who's this guy? Justin Gabriel. Justin Gabriel is out of focus. Right? And um, so that's an example of shallow depth of field. That's the kind of depth of field you want to use for portraits, where you can gauze out or bokeh the background so that it doesn't clash and your subject stands out from the background. But now I'm going to take the same picture again, and I'm going to take it at 22, F22. And look what happens. Justin Gabriel comes out just about as sharp as Sin Cara does. Right? What's happened here is that as that aperture has closed down, the moment you take a picture, just like the iris of your eye, there's a uh, mechanical iris that closes down and forces the light to travel through that smaller space and has a sharpening effect in your photograph. And that's called deep depth of field, which you would use for, well, photos like this or, let's say, landscapes where you want your foreground subject and your background subject to just come out sharp, too. That's simple depth of field control. Easily done on your DSLR camera by going to your aperture priority setting. This is a good thing to practice. Close-ups especially, because perspective is so tight and your, your focus is uh, so critical that you can really see depth of field effects. So if you don't have your plastic wrestling guys, practice on a flower or anything that stays still is static. And uh, you can also change uh, depth from you know, your focus point there. So I'm Jess, uh, the Milford Photo Guy. This is Andrew, my uh, wrestling guy. And uh, we want to thank you for watching, and we hope to see you at one of our events real soon. And uh, as always, take and make great pictures. See ya. Bada bing, huh? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, stuck. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. I just tied this. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Are you still playing? Yes, it's, it is still playing. Boosh, 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 boosh. Ready? Ready?